Well, good morning, folks. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, your morning weather update here on the MLive Facebook page. And it's got a lot of weather in it. We've got rain and thunderstorms in the southern third of lower Michigan. We've got kind of a transition period in the middle third of lower Michigan. And we've got a big, heavy, wet snowstorm in the northern third and the eastern parts of the UP. So let's get to it. And as always, if you have any questions about traveling, I can try to answer those for you right here. Hey, good morning, Ryan from Midland. Okay, this lays it out pretty good again uh, on where the generic general travel problems will be. This is the, uh, these are the warnings and advisories in effect. So here's your winter storm warning in, I guess I'd call it pink, northern third of lower Michigan into much of central Wisconsin. Surrounding that, winter weather advisories, uh, Aranac County, Gladwin County, Clinton, Gratiot Counties, and westward. And some of these down in here through the Grand Rapids area are in effect for this morning into early afternoon for a quick shot of some mixed precipitation and not necessarily for tonight and tomorrow morning although i think it will be worse tonight and tomorrow weather from north carolina to michigan you're gonna have um well you're gonna run into the mess once you get toward michigan but otherwise it's uh just gonna be a springtime pattern for you there hmm let's see here Boy, a lot of travel questions here. Sorry, flying from MBS late morning to Chicago here. Will it be canceled? I would say no. This is the current radar, and there's a split right now. So the storm is just starting to uh, come together. And let's see. Jerry, traveling from Presque Isle to Kalamazoo, when is best? If you hit it now, you'd probably be okay. Um, otherwise, I would wait until... Wednesday afternoon, it looks like. Uh, how do you think it will be driving from Detroit to Traverse City, then to Alpena Crista? When? If you're talking about today, uh, get there by early afternoon. Traverse City to Alpena will be a nightmare of a drive late this afternoon through tonight or tomorrow. Oh, someone rubbing it in from... From... Uh, Panama City. How about travel from Big Rapids to Grand Rapids this morning? Should be okay. There's precipitation starting to develop, and we anticipate that this could be light freezing rain, but it should be generally okay. All right, so let's get to the weather here first, okay? Maybe I'll answer questions that way. So here's your snow, and here's your rain, and they're going to kind of come together okay here's the short term will storm be done by wednesday afternoon yes storm will be done by wednesday afternoon bel air you'll get some lake effect but it shouldn't be too terrible okay so here's the short term this is the radar forecast 10 this morning 11 this morning noon so I'm not looking for any real major travel problems. There's going to be a little batch of quick freezing drizzle or freezing rain develop, but nothing real widespread. This is into the afternoon. And again, here's the rain and thunderstorms. And you're starting to see the snow pick up. Ludington, you're in the heavy snow band. That's where you start with the winter storm uh, or the winter weather advisories. Okay, and then we go into 5 o'clock this evening. And let me get in here so you can see what's going on. That's when northern Michigan starts to get hammered by snow. This wave of rainfall will be moving through southern lower. And so you could see there's a sharp line right here. Okay, between rain to a thin batch of mixture, sleet, snow, freezing rain, rain, to all snow. And this is uh, 8 o'clock this evening, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and midnight. So basically your snow really hangs in in the northern 
half of lower Michigan this evening. That's when it will get bad. And then see this right here? This is a wraparound that's going to kind of swing through the whole area, and that will be tonight and tomorrow morning. So I want to go to that now and give you a better feel. This is a model that goes out that far. Okay, and we're at uh, midday today. Here's this evening. Perfect spot for a northern half of lower Michigan snowstorm with a storm center somewhere around Jackson, uh, traveling to Detroit. This is overnight, and then focus on this. This is colder air coming in behind it. Rush hour, 5.30ish from TC to... to interlocking uh you're gonna be in snow at that point although it's not that far of a drive but you are going to be in snow at that point i would say and starting to come down pretty hard okay and then this is overnight this is tomorrow morning okay here's the storm center we're all in the cold air we've got some steady light snow going we've got north winds at 30 miles an hour in gusts at least and so tomorrow morning, just about anywhere except maybe in the far southeast, could have yourselves um, a snowy drive, an almost winter drive. This is midday tomorrow as the snow lightens up, and then tomorrow evening with some flurries left off. Hi, Becky. Uh, so you want to know how much. This is the one that I like right now. I would call it from about Tawas to Clare, Houghton Lake to about Ludington northward, a 6 to 10 inch snow. Weather service says 10 to 16. I think that's a little bit uh, overdone. Okay. And somebody's asking about freezing rain. Teresa Jorgensen, freezing rain in Grand Haven, Grand Haven time period. I don't think... A whole lot of freezing rain out of this if it is it's right in this transition zone here in central Michigan and it's probably a tenth of an inch or so <clears throat> and then you go southward through Saginaw Bay City one to three inches Flint an inch or two inch or two in Grand Rapids probably and that's tonight and tomorrow morning so you will be driving on slick cold roads tomorrow in the morning and then in the far southeast Detroit Ann Arbor Jackson you're probably gonna see maybe just a covering on the roads or not on the roads rather on the grass I want to show you this this is the GFS this is that other model that I showed you and this is probably the high end so that's why I say it it's coming up about the same in the UP by the way you're looking at about three to six inches of snow Okay, so it's a northern half or northern third of lower Michigan, north of Bay City, Clare, Ludington, northward. That's where you really get socked with the snow. Southern half, we get the changing roads and the cold conditions tonight into tomorrow morning. <laughs> Do I think Clark Lake going to freeze again? Probably not. It's going to be cold, but it's going to be hard again so there you have it folks today if you're traveling southern two-thirds of the state not too bad in the morning into early afternoon snow develops in the northern part of lower Michigan and turns heavy by this evening southern half stays in snow until uh, stays in rain until overnight tonight changes to snow tomorrow morning plan on some extra time one or two inches of snow, north winds 30 miles an hour, temperatures in the upper 20s. So tomorrow could be one of those surprisingly hazardous uh, travel days in southern Michigan because we got, first off, unfortunately as a meteorologist, I got to factor in the psychology and the mentality. It's April. The car's not telling me the road is bad. I'm going to fly down it at 90 miles an hour. You know those people, so you're going to probably encounter that uh, tomorrow. 
We'll keep you updated on MLive with any updates. The storm forecast pretty stable, but it can still shift uh, 25 miles or so. Uh, so I'll continue to post and keep you updated, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. John, I'll take your last question. John Pabami, Pabami, uh, what about Manistee? You're probably in the, I would say you are in the six inch plus range probably six to eight inches and it's a wet snow what i'm calling a backbreaker type of snow all right so be careful folks i will keep you updated one of these days this winter weather will end this is m live chief meteorologist mark torg